We've been producing independent documentaries on farming and farm machinery worldwide for almost 20 years now. We've travelled to many of the most significant farming regions in the world for our film projects, which we publish in multiple languages on DVD and on demand. On our YouTube channel, we frequently bring you insights into our work, and for this short story, we're taking you with us to Brazil. We filmed on location at four different times of the year for a three-part documentary called Agriculture in South America and visited Chile, Argentina and Brazil. In Brazil, we focused on sugarcane harvest in addition to the soybean harvest. Sugarcane has been cultivated in Brazil since the 16th century. Nevertheless, sugarcane farming received a real boost by the ethanol program, which was promoted after the oil crisis in the early 1970s. At first, ethanol was only mixed in with fuel incrementally. Then later, the so-called flex-fuel cars were introduced, which can be filled with either pure ethanol or petrol. These flex-fuel cars now account for 90% of car sales in Brazil. Sugarcane is cultivated on around 9 million hectares nationwide an area almost the size of Scotland and Wales combined. Ribeirão Preto, a city of 650,000 inhabitants in the state of Sao Paulo, is the main hub for sugarcane growing. It took several weeks of research and dozens of emails and phone calls to gain permission to film the world's second largest sugarcane producer in action for our documentary. The company farms around 350,000 hectares across several states and runs 10 sugarcane factories. These harvesters have around 300 horsepower each. They first use a topper to chop off the upper green leaves of the plants, which are over 4 meters tall. The screw conveyors on the sides ensure the plants are fed in consistently. The sturdy sugarcane is then pushed forward by the knockdown roller and chopped off above the roots by two large base cutters. Next, the stalks are fed through into the feeder housing and chopped to a length of 20 centimeters, while the leaves are separated out by two blowers. It's hard to imagine that sugarcane is still harvested by hand in many of the sugarcane growing regions around the world which compete with Brazil. Some of the logistics machinery used on the huge plantations is magnificent. For example, these grain carts with up to 60 cubic meters in load volume. These heavily loaded trucks transport the so-called billets to the factories. We were allowed to film here too for our documentary. Sugarcane is a perennial crop and is harvested five times on this farm. The peak harvests range up to 180 tonnes per hectare. The world's largest sugarcane producer is also very active in this area. They farm an unbelievable 860,000 hectares and run 24 factories. The growing of sugarcane is not without controversy in some parts of Brazil. We look into this aspect in more detail in our film series. For our documentary film series, Agriculture in South America, we visited several farms to discover more about sugarcane harvesting and gained insights into farming processes, various machinery brands, logistics and factories. Our films, which we produce without advertising or sponsorship, are available on DVD and on our new on-demand video platform at www.farmworld.tv. We'd like to thank all our viewers for their support. Thank you.